Hey guys, it's Rosalie, and for today's video, I am going to be testing out inexpensive hair extensions. These are tape ins from Amazon. They range from like $20, I think, to like $80 or so. Depending on how long your hair is, obviously, you would want to get it longer. My hair is actually pretty long, but I wanted to add a little bit of a longer length. My birthday is coming up, so I thought I would spice up my hair a little bit. So, the hair extensions I'm going to be using using in this video are from Full Shine Hair. I will go ahead and link all their information down below for you guys. I have worked with them previously and I've tried out like two different types of hair extensions from them and I just wanted to specifically talk about these, the tape-ins, just because maybe you don't know how to put them on. I've put on tape-ins once in my life so this will be me testing it out again to kind of see if I can actually do it because last time I had help from my sister so this time I'm going to show you guys how I do it. It by myself it's actually not that hard it's just a longer process so it takes a little bit because I have long hair I don't think I'll need that much by the way this video is sponsored by full shine hair but all my opinions will be my own I've used their hair previously and I love it so I thought I would share with you guys how I do this inexpensive hairstyle because I know that it may be expensive to get your hair done. So firstly this morning I started off by taking a shower. I washed my hair. I used shampoo in my hair and no conditioner because you don't want any like oils when you put your hair extensions in. You want it to be as pure as possible so I just blow dried it, straightened it out a little bit and that's about everything I did to my hair. So my hair is pretty long like I was saying. I'll show you guys the back. So this is the length of the back of my hair if you can see that it's pretty long But I just want to add a little bit more layers and a little bit more length because I'm trying to be super glam for my birthday So like I was saying this comes in a little package like this. This is the full shine packaging It's a hundred percent real Remy hair I got two packs because they both have 50 grams and I thought because my hair is so thick I can use 100 grams. So they give you a little keep in touch type of card and also like a more instruction type of manual card. So it just tells you about the brand. It shows you how to put them on, just different things. It also tells you about the wash, about dyeing, about drying, about sleep, and about swimming. So if you have any questions about how to take care of this hair, there's a little instruction manual to show you. And then the next thing it comes with is the hair. So this is the hair. I went with the 20 inch off black. I kind of think that I might have went a little bit darker. I just feel like black, black, like genuine black might be a little too dark for my hair, but I feel like off black might be a little bit too brown. So it comes in a little netting and then the hair is here. So this is how the hair looks. It's super long and really pretty. I'm excited to put it in my hair. Like I said, I got two sets, so they come with 20 pieces in each which basically is like 10 hair extensions because you need to use two in order to put it in your hair it's longer than my hair let me like stand up to show you so once i put it in it will be like three or four inches longer than my actual hair so the color it's pretty good match it's a little bit more red tone than my dyed black hair but i feel like it'll match pretty well once it's in the hair. This hair is so soft, very long, and feels like really, really good quality. If your hair is short and blunt, I would go with like maybe a 10 inch, which would be like half of this, so like about my length of hair or a little bit shorter, and that will give you like medium hair, but it will be super inexpensive. So they have them on their website for $21.99 in the color off black. Also, from June 20th through June 26th, they are having a sale of 15% off. I'll link that all down below so you guys can check that out and order your hair extensions as soon as possible because we're trying to look cute all summer. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the application process. I'm making this very beginner friendly because I am kind of a beginner. I've only applied them once so I'm just gonna brush out my natural hair to make sure there's no tangles even though my hair gets tangled very easily and then using a clip I'm gonna clip back my hair so I don't have a comb with me so I'm gonna use the back of a brush but you just want to make the lines I guess as straight as possible I think last time I did this I didn't get them that straight which I don't think is like a huge deal 
but I feel like it's helpful when it's straight. So I'm just gonna take that all across. I'm sure it's not gonna be that straight, but it's fine. And then I just pin up all of my hair. So I'm just gonna pin my hair up like that. I'm gonna look crazy with all my hair in the front, but I need it out of the way from the back as much as possible. So I do have blonde hair at the bottom, but I think because I have the dark hair on top, I think it'll be fine and it'll look really cute. Add some highlights in my hair. Another thing other than a brush and like something to divide your hair is a straightener. So make sure to turn on your straightener. I'm gonna let that warm up. So you're gonna take two of the little hair pieces. So they're pretty thin, they're not very thick. And we're gonna do the first one and make sure it's like brushed through, there's no tangles. So you're just gonna remove this little plastic right above the tape and you just take that right off. And you're gonna go here on your hair. So I'm gonna show you guys on the side before I get into the back. So I'm gonna take this little piece. You don't wanna do it too close to the scalp but you also don't want to do it too far down where you can actually see the extensions. So I'm just going to do it like half an inch from my root. And then you just push down. And if you make a mistake, you can always remove this before you set the hair extensions in place. And then you take the hair wherever the extension is and you pull it upward. So whatever is like attached to the extension is what's going to go up with your hair like so so right here is where you're going to attach the other piece and you're going to just line it up with the first piece that we put in so try to do it as best as possible after you flip it over so once the hair is in place it should be lined up pretty good if it's not lined up perfect again you can always take it off and move it or you can just leave it depending on if you care that much and how long you're keeping it in. So I tried to line it up as best as possible. Once it's lined up and in there, you're just gonna grab your straightener and you're gonna press it onto where the tape is for like a couple seconds, just open and close it just to kind of seal the glue in. And then you just let that cool off and there is your piece. So as you can see, it is way longer than my actual hair. So I'm gonna do that around the entire bottom section and then I'll be back when it's fully done. So I finished the first layer and I already love it so much. So I'll show you guys. The back may not be straight, but we're just gonna pretend like it's straight. It's still cooling down at some spots, but it makes my hair look so much longer. So this is what it looks like in the that I think it looks so good obviously I still have a lot to go but I did six of these little tape in pairs so I used like 12 little things already which is fine I feel like I have enough extension still to do my whole head I'm not gonna do a bunch of extensions in my hair even though my hair is very thick I feel like these type of hair extensions you don't need a lot like i feel like clip-in hair extensions you need a lot of hair but this i don't think you need too much because you still want it to look pretty natural and because the strands are individually so thin and they go in between your hair i feel like it looks super natural also it feels so soft so i'm gonna work on the next row and i'm not making these rows too thin either like i'm separating them pretty far apart if i was doing clip and hair extensions and my hair was shorter and like more blunt then i would definitely be needing a bunch of hair extensions and i would be going section by section you just don't need as much hair which makes your head not weigh so much because i've had hair extensions that weigh a lot i'm gonna brush out my hair because it's starting to get a little tangle so now we're starting to bring my natural darker hair down so it'll blend a lot better but I feel like it blends pretty well already and this time we're gonna go a little bit closer so because I still want to be able to maybe put my hair up I'm not gonna do like this section in front of my ear just because I don't want that to be looking crazy whenever I put my hair up so I'm gonna go back behind my ear and put in a piece here hold it down for just a second and then taking another piece I'm just gonna put that right underneath so I usually just go right by the tape part, pull that up, and then right under it is where I put the extension. This one I feel like I put a little too close to my scalp, but that's fine. 
The only reason you don't want to put it too close to your scalp is because your natural oils may start to break down the glue. So that's why I would watch out with how close you put it to your head. And then this just seals the glue in place. I just do this. I don't want to let it sit there for too long, but I just kind of heat it up. And then you're good to go. I'll try to record the back if I can. It's kind of hard when I'm trying to look in the mirror, but there is another piece. You can't even tell because it literally blends in with my hair so well okay so i did a second layer and it already looks so good in my opinion you guys can judge me later in the comments if it looks horrible but it feels so soft and i wish my natural hair was this soft but it blends pretty well so you can't tell like the difference it's not too shiny or anything but let me show you guys when i stand up so this is how they look in the back what do you guys think comment let me know because i am obsessed already and I'm going to have such nice hair for my birthday. Looks so good. Okay, I think I'm going to do one more row of like the actual hair extensions. And then I think I'm just going to go around and place it wherever I can to kind of blend it in best. I'm just going to put all my hair down. I'm going to do almost all of it to the bottom just so I can kind of finish up. I feel like it doesn't take much effort to make it look really nice. I thought the 50 grams of hair was going to be not enough, so that's why I got two packs. I am glad I got two packs, but I do feel like you don't need that much hair. Even with two packs, I was like, I don't know if that's going to be enough, but it's okay because my hair is long. But I feel like as long as you don't go way too long compared to your natural hair, or if you use a couple different packets of different lengths, you're able to make it blend super well. So I just put some of my hair down. As you can tell, even if I don't add anything else, this blends so well. Like, that looks like all my natural hair. I'm just gonna do a few in this layer, and then I will put all the rest of the hair down and complete the top. like long row and now I only have enough for two so hopefully it blends in well I feel like it will because my hair is pretty long so I would say to divide your hair how you would normally style it I have a ton of layers so it does blend pretty well but if you don't have layers and you have really short hair then I would suggest just going with maybe the 10 inch which are $21.99 or to get a couple different. So maybe like the 10 inch and then maybe like the 18 inch depending on how long you want it. So it pretty much blends pretty well with my hair, which I love. Also, you can style this as usual with regular tools and everything like that like you would normally do. And then also you can wash it and even dye it. Like you can dye it darker. You can't really dye it lighter unless you like test it out and see if it works fine, but you can't really do it like lighter. But I would suggest like getting the lightest one and going darker depending on your hair color. I think it looks really nice. So I'm just gonna add a couple more in the front just because I feel like the back is pretty fine. I don't have that much short layers in the back, but I have a few in the front. I think I'm just gonna do one on each side right behind the blonde. So we're just gonna do them like right here. So they kind of just blend in with the hair. So I'm gonna take like this row of hair, flip it over. Make sure you know how you're going to style your hair before you like put any hair extensions in because you don't want your extensions to show. So I'm doing a little bit more to the side in case I wanna do a little bit of a side part. I'll still have room to do a small side part. So I'm just gonna take this and place it right here, right behind the blonde. And because they're like clear, you can't see them that much. So here is the piece. So I'm gonna take it and then I just grab this piece and I place it right under. You can always start from the bottom and then do the top part last, but I don't know why I like doing the top part first, kind of see where I want it and then placing the bottom one like lined up with 
the top. And then again, you just grab the straightener, top a little bit, and there it is. I'm gonna style it afterwards so you guys can see the full style, but I am so excited about this to have like longish hair for my birthday and for summer. Depending on how well you take care of your hair, it can last from 10 to 16 weeks, which is a long time. Look how good that blends in. I feel like it looks so natural. I'm gonna do this last piece and then show you guys the entire head. Okay, so I finished putting the hair in. I'm gonna style it a little bit, just kind of add a little bit of wave to it, and then I'll show you guys the completed hair. I'm so excited about it. It looks so good, and it feels so soft and natural. And because I put the hair like to the back of the head instead of up front, I feel like I could still do ponytails without any extension showing, which is ideal for the summer. Okay, so I finished doing my hair. I just added a little bit of wave for texture, but really I just wanna do like a blowout. So as soon as I can do that, that's what I'm gonna do. But this is how it looks. I think it looks so good. I love my new hair. I feel super glam and I feel like this is just an added bonus because look how good it looks. That looks so good. I'll show you from the back. Sorry if the waves aren't that good. I honestly need a curling iron because my straightener ain't doing it for me anymore. But here is the back so you can see it. It feels super light and it looks so cute. I think it looks really good and it's so long. It's like all the way to my booty. So if you guys are interested in getting some super inexpensive hair extensions, I will link the Amazon link down below so you guys can check them out. Thank you so much to Full Shine for sponsoring this video. I am so excited that I get new hair. So they really blessed me because your girl was needing a little bit of a change. I did also like change up my hair and add more blonde to the roots and change up the color just a bit but this just is the full completed look with these hair extensions and they look so natural i feel like they blend very very well don't forget from june 20th through june 26th they are having a 15 percent off sale so you can get these extensions for super inexpensive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned how to put on your own tape and hair extensions. I feel like this was super easy and they were super beginner friendly. This is my second time with tape-ins and the first time I had help putting them in and this time I didn't and I feel like I did so well and put them in so well myself I am so proud I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please let me know by leaving a comment I love you all so much I am so blessed by every single one of you and I'll see you guys in the next one bye